Welcome to your fatherland, kids. Your father bought this house so that whenever we decide to move to Nigeria, we can always have a place to stay. I hope you like it. Yes, Mom. Good. As you can see, the place is a mess and therefore we'll have a lot of cleaning up to do before I go and get the rest of the bags from the car. So, excuse me while I get the work into this. Put your bags down. We have a lot of work to do. What Benita is trying to say is that we can't finish cleaning this house. We need help. We can't do this alone. You're right. You're right, Cynthia. If not, I'm going to get flu. All right, all right. I've heard all of you, okay? Listen to me. I'm going to have Friday 
place a notice and then you all will help me select someone who you think can work under my supervision okay okay so for now i'm going to order some food for you why don't you go to actually what we want to eat i don't need to ask you what you want i already know what you want darling i'll be right back First person. What's your name? My name is Doka. Do you have any formal experience? No, they're a good person. Yeah. Please use the gate. Next person! You know, get that person way. of his for this place. Look at this grass. Hey! Use that the way. gate! Next person, please come in. Okay, thank you. We'll call you back later. Don't we'll call you back. Don't worry. That's the door. We'll call you. Next person. Done. Um, what's your name? My name is Joy. Do you have any formal experience? Yes, I get better experience for this work. I wait till they brought me for this. Um, we'll call, we'll call you, you back, back later. Yeah. We'll call you back. Now we'll call me back. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Of course. Don't worry. So I'll go now. Yes, yes. Okay. Next person. What's your name? Hi. My name is Kaite. I come from my private state. My parents are from village. I just come from a confined job. I try, 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 try. Today I tire. I need to get money to buy water. What my mind say if I get this job, eh, I will just pack all the money, go give them for village. Not be smart, you know. I try, try to see me. Eh, no water, no money. I just did sweat. So people just um, thank like you. Eh? We'll call you back. You go call me. Yes, yes, yes. We'll call you back. I beg, I beg you on a number. No, no don't worry. We'll call you back. We'll call you back. Call you back. Call me. Yes. yes. Correct people. You say you go call me? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Next person. Um, what's your name? Badu. I don't know anyone. What's your name? Uh, my name is Caroline. You want to call me? Caro. Yes, you call her Caro. Do you have any formal experience in this job? Experience. You don't need experience to take, take your people with the ass and uh, the ass now. I don't need experience. See, we can tell you. For my ass. Now let me do all the ass work. Yes. And nobody for my ass don't complain. Say, eh, Caro, you know, do this one where you know, do this. nobody, all of them, they all day okay. Now we get our Most importantly, can you cook? Sure. Cook. Hey. Now me like this, they call on point. Yes. Any kind of way you want. You all call the name. Chakan, it don't appear for your table. Let me be that. Your okay, point. that's very good. But if you were offered this job, mm, will you be willing to stay where you're working? Ah. Hey, if my employment people say I fit to stay for their ass, no problem. But if they still say make as they come from my ass, I don't still get problem with them because. 8 a.m. sharp sharp. I don't reason. In fact, before I wake up, I they go. Carol, you hired. Huh? You hired. You hired me. And yes, you'll be starting right away. Like, like that, I get the job now. Go get your bags. You'll be staying with us in this big house. Eh? Hey, my children, say I'm not fine. You'll be like butter. You'll be like uh, mayonnaise. You're not salad cream. Say you're fine. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you very well. Thank you. Now you are me. I thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. I hope you don't have any questionable character.
All right. My kids have shown you everywhere, right? Yes, ma. Great. As you can see, the house is very dirty and therefore you need to clean up as soon as possible. Yes, ma. All the working tools are in the kitchen right there. Don't hesitate if you have any questions, okay? Thank you, ma. All right. The kitchen Thank is you, right there. Thank you. You're welcome. Nigeria. Just two days ago. Oh my word, this is good. And you didn't bother to call me? I'm so sorry. This is so unfair. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to get myself together before making social calls. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. So, um, are you going home or what? Yes, I just finished shopping, so I'm going home. Oh, that's good because um, I wanted to shop, but it's okay. I, I'll do that some other time because I'm going home with you to see those princesses. Yes, they will be so happy to see you. I know, I'm happy to see them. Come, let's go. Let me go read. Let me help you. Come. come <laughs> This to paradise. You like it? I like. Thank you. Oh my god. Sweet, wonderful, nice, lovely place you have. Thank you. Whew. So, how are you, my friend? I am good. I can see that. Yes. So, what about you? How's Nigeria? Ah, coping as usual. I mean, as you can see, we're coping. So tell me, why did you return? Oh, it's Ghana not favoring you any longer. Of course not. Ghana is good. Ghana is very good. I just decided it was time for the kids to return to their fatherland. And it was time for me to also take over my husband's business. You mm. know, when you want something done right, you need to do it yourself. Yeah, you're right. So right. Okay. And talking about the kids, where are they? The kids. Oh, hi. That's them coming. <laughs> there they are. Welcome back home. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, oh thank you. Hello, oh, Thank you. Look at, the, look at the baby of yesterday. She's all grown. Yes, I know. Good morning, welcome. You live in Nigeria too. Yes, I live here too. I'm from Nigeria. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they are so grown. They are. Remember her when she was a baby? Yeah. yeah. Just look, just look at how cute she is. <laughs> Mom, we'll be in our room. Sure. <laughs> Take care of you. Yeah. Wow, right? the kids are growing <laughs> smart and brilliant. Of course, why would they not be smart and brilliant when their mom is very smart and brilliant? Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can I get you something to drink? Um, don't you have the house help? I can do it myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Ah. Why did that, that Auntie Maureen follow us in Nigeria? She will always follows us because she loves leeching on people. Why else? She likes to come to people's house and come act as if it's her own. The thing I hate the most is that she'll come to her house and start demanding on what to eat like it's her own house. Anytime people come to her house, she'll say, sorry, my house is dry. Dry in her mind. Uh, but I kind of like her shell. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like her at all. What about you, Joanita? I don't like her and I don't hate her either. Just choose one. <laughs> oh 
my god. What's that your house helps name again? Carol, why? Uh, you need anything? Don't worry. Carol! Carol! Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, I want you to prepare me fried rice and um, salad. If there's goat meat, fry it. But if there's no goat meat, just use chicken or oh, turkey. Yeah, what a gizzard, snail. In fact, just fry all of them and bring it. I'll make my choice. Eh. Ma, there is no. Eh, you know, it's it, it's fine. You can go. Okay. I'm so sorry, Marie, but you know we just moved in, and I haven't done any shopping for the kitchen. But I've ordered something for us to eat, though. Okay, you should have told me now. Yes. Uh, I hope the order will be delivered soon. Don't worry, right. it'll be here soon. Okay, <laughs> if you say so. My friend, my friend. <laughs> See, you have told me the business and the family reasons why you returned. But the thing you have not told me yet is the personal reason. I don't understand. I don't know what you mean. What could be more personal than family and business? What other reason should I have for returning back to Nigeria? Okay. You know, the last time we spoke, you talked about um, remarrying. Is that part of the reason for your returning? <laughs> that. Oh. Well, yeah. Kinda. I knew it! But listen, for me, that is actually second you right now. You know, I need to take my time to look out for the right person. And before I do that, I need to get settled in first. Okay. But yeah, I am ready to remarry. I know. <laughs> I just hope that my kids would understand. But you're doing it for their own good. I mean, they will not see the necessity of a father figure until there is a man in their life. You're right. Get me. I'll talk to them, but I'm hopeful they will understand. <laughs> they don't have a choice. It's your <laughs> life, and you still have it to live. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> when is? <clears throat> when is the other coming? <laughs> Yes. I hope there's no problem. Um, <clears throat> no, sweetie, there's no problem. I just want to talk to you about something. Something very important. I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a very long time, but I just don't know how you would take it. Mom, you can tell us anything. Yes, Mom, you can tell us. Okay. So, um, I'm actually planning on remarrying. Wait, what? Why, Mom? Is it necessary? We're all happy together, ain't we? Why do you need another husband? Yes, Dad is dead, but I don't see what another man coming into our life now will do for us. No man can come and live with us in this house. So, Mom, don't even think about doing anything like that. Yes, Mom, I know how you feel. I know how you like going out with your husband, like most women do. But we won't allow a stranger to come into our house. So, Mom, if you want to go ahead, we don't support you. Replace dad with another man. It's a stranger. Someone who will come into our house and tell us what to do. I want to allow that. Come on, girls. Don't you think we need a father figure like other kids? Um, 
I, I, you know how I miss how dad used to drop us to school and not pick us up sometimes. And how we used to take us out for picnics too. Don't you think we need a man in this house to do all those things? Sorry, Benita, but I don't need a total stranger. I don't need one. You can go ahead. All the happiness I need, I can get that from mom and you, my sisters. I agree with you, Cynthia, but nothing can change my mind. I've said my own, but I just hope you guys can change your mind. I know you girls. I know you girls were not happy with what I said to you yesterday. And I'm sorry if I upset you in any way. Mom, you know we cannot stay angry at you for so long. You know we love you. And that is why we're here to make you happy. So relax, okay? Oh, thank you so much, my darlings. But, can we visit the subject again? Go ahead, Mom. We're listening to you. Okay. You are all... Okay. You're my dear daughters. And I've come to realize that we need a father figure in this house. You're all girls, and we need a man to guard you rightly. Mom, I understand what you're saying. I think what you're saying is true. No way, I won't allow that. I won't allow a stranger to be my father. Same here, Mom. No man can come here and tell us what to do in our father's house. No way, Mom. But do you know that when... No, Mom, you know we won't agree. But can't you at least just listen to what she has You to can say? listen to her after breakfast. That is if she has nowhere going to. As for me, I want to finish my food first. Don't jump out from behind anything. Remember, I, I have a strong stomach, but a very weak heart. Hi. 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 Afternoon. Afternoon. How are you? Um, listen, Greg, I have a few things to take care of before we leave. So whatever meetings we have, just reschedule it for later in the evening, okay? Okay, ma. Um, what about the meeting with the investors? It's supposed to be in about two hours. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, can you call them and find out if a conference call will do the magic? If yes, we can set it up here. Okay, ma. I'll do just that and let okay. you know what we agree on. Sure. I'm ready. Hi, girls. the man you want to replace dad with. Will you shut up? Can't I hold a meeting with a man? You know what? You're going to follow me to my office and then you will ask each and every man I work with if they are the one I'm replacing. The man I came here with is my personal assistant. His name is Greg. I'm so sorry. 
I'm honestly very sorry I raised my voice at you. But you girls are pushing me and it's not right. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, that reminds me. There's a guy I want you to meet. I have arranged for the both of you to have dinner together. Maureen, how have you arranged for me to have dinner with a guy I don't even know? When I didn't tell you to do any such thing. Uh, oh no, what's wrong with that? I'm your friend. I just want you to be happy. I don't know. I still haven't been able to convince my children on the subject. I don't... I honestly don't think I, 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 I'm ready. I didn't say you should do something with him. I didn't say you should have something to do with him. Just have dinner with him, and with time, you get to know him better. That's all. I mean, it's not like I'm... It's say okay. I will go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you'll be there too. Of course, I'll be there. If I won't be there, how will you get to meet him? That's true. Just calm down. Okay. Leave this to me. I got this. I know you got this. <laughs> so what does he look like? Oh, he's cute. Him, he's a little bit bald. Oh, he's bald-headed. Yeah, really? he's light-skinned. Oh, he's cute. Okay. You, you got the light so I can just ignore the bald. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys watching? We're searching for Lion King. They're gonna air today. Aren't you girls tired of Lion King? My best, Mom. But, Mom, you know my favorite is Tom and Jerry. And mine is Pussy and the Beast. Yes, I know that very much. So, listen, um, I'll be going out for dinner with a friend of mine and her friend. So, I'm gonna be away for a little bit. Wow, well, that sounds nice, Mom. Such dinner is only for adults. I would have said you should allow us to follow you. Wait, you don't mind me going out for dinner, right? No, Mom. There's nothing bad in having dinner with friends or colleagues that you know. Mom, if you're not going to be too late, can you buy suya for me? Of course. Of course I'll get you suya. You like too much meat. Then when they bring you, don't eat. <laughs> Why? Is it for you alone? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm going to get suya for everybody, okay? I love you and make sure you don't stay up too late. this dress but it kind of looks inappropriate what do you think it looks like a wedding dress right yeah what about this one this yellow dress looks nice it's very formal very decent no mom I don't like yellow colors I mean look at it no it looks nice mom look at this dress I think it will look better on you yeah but no, that looks like I'm going to church. No, definitely not. No, but this what? one, yes. What about the black dress trays? Mom, what are you doing? I don't know, it just, it just looks too long. No, Mom, it's the best dress to wear for a dinner. I mean, it's almost how it makes you look sexy. Really? <laughs> the last thing I want to do is to look sexy. So, are you saying Mrs. K.I.A.? No, we don't want. You can call me whatever you want to call me. All I know, it looks beautiful and more, like Benita said. Yes, it does. Thank you so much. Thank you for making me, for getting me the best choice. Thank you. Black like it is. <laughs> So, 
that was how Bob and I became friends. Wow. That's an interesting story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, us way back. I told him already, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, um, I have to say this is my boss. Okay, sorry. Uh, hello, sir. Um, yes. Yes, I have the files. Uh, they're at home. Okay, I will just um, leave where I am and go home, pick the files, come meet you wherever you are and give it to you, sir. Yes, sir. Um, are you okay? My boss just called. He's traveling tomorrow morning. And he needs the files he gave me to work on. So I have to go home, pick the files and meet him at the address he will send to me shortly. Wow, I'm so sorry. I just, I have to go. Hey, you know, I don't have my car here, I'll drop you out. Oh, it's fine. I'll just grab a taxi and... Are you sure you'll be fine? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Huh? Sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, oh, my food. Yeah. Um, just make it take away. I mean to go. Whatever, don't talk food it is, we got this English. Just pack them. On my way out, I'll pick it. Okay. Good. I'll be safe, huh? Yeah. I'll be okay. okay. And uh, my drink. <laughs> You'll be good. Okay. Hey. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So it's just the two of us. Playing video games. Well, um, he is Maureen's friend, and by extension, my friend too. He's stranded, and um, I offered him our home so he can spend the night. Is that okay? Mm, it's okay, Mom. Thank you. Um, I'm going upstairs. Um, Carol, um, can you get the second guest room ready? And when you're done, show him where it is, okay? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to freshen up. What is it? What is wrong? You're the problem, Mom. Why would you bring in a stranger just because he's stranded? You don't know him. He's not your friend. I'm surprised at what you just did. You didn't even bother consulting us because we don't matter anymore. It's okay. Good night, Mom. But please, consider our safety first. Benita! Benita! Hello. So, it seems that our plan is going to work. <laughs> yes, I am currently in the house to speak. This is a Leave that to me. Just leave that to me. You know what I mean?
princess Good morning, Good morning darling. Oh. How are you? How was your night? Hi, Hi mom. mom. Good. Mom, we want to talk to you about that man that came yesterday. We heard his conversation on the phone with somebody last night. He said that he's already in our house and that his plan is working. Mom, that man is not a good person. If you're planning on doing anything with him, please stop. He's not who you think he is. <clears throat> is this your new plan? Huh? Last night you spoke very ill of him and this morning you already have a plan? I have known him this insult with all my life. Did you think I was in a house where the sentences were reached? Oh, I knew better. Let's stand here and be insulted. No. Bob, no, Bob, this is Bob. Seriously, Bob! Come on, please, they are just little kids. Please, B Bob! your sisters to speak bad about a person just because you don't like that person you now teach your sisters to lie what the hell did you learn this character from certainly not from this house and you are you both robots that whatever she tells you to do you will do without questioning whether or not it's right Benita you disappoint me It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down, Benita. It's okay. Benita, calm down. It's okay. Benita. Stop crying. Please, Benita. Don't cry. But it's not wrong. Help me talk to Bob. Um, help me apologize to him. They are just children. And I'm pretty sure they said that either because they don't like Bob or because they felt as though he was come to take their father's place. I don't know, but they're children. I know. Come on. Relax, okay? Just relax. I'll, I'll talk to him. 
Remember, I'm the one who made the arrangement for you guys to have dinner, right? I'll fix this, okay? But you just have to keep your children in check, okay? This should never repeat itself again. Definitely, it would not repeat itself. I already cautioned Benita, and I told her to warn her sisters never to do this again. So definitely, they would never do that again. I, that I'm 100% sure of. I know Bob must be very angry with you right now, but I'll talk to him, it's okay. Just chill, okay? Relax. He left the house really upset. Like, you should have just left. Just don't, don't worry, I'll fix it. Trust me, I'm. I'm the fixer, okay? You know what I can do, right? Just relax, okay? Cheryl! Oh, he was very upset when he left the house. Yeah. The kids say, um, in Tarana, I'm going to send them on the Exactly. No, that's not how the shoulder is supposed to be. It's like high. Uh huh. Exactly. And see, what do you, if there's anything wrong, I just my father will go in and send him on my, and we'll just alter it. Okay. I found out after that that wasn't what you wanted. Okay. Cool. No problem. All right. Bye. Yes, come in. Mom, we're sorry for offending you and Uncle Bob. I promise it will not happen again. We won't do what will make you angry again, Mom. We're sorry, please. You know that I cannot stay angry with you guys for way too long. I just don't want it to repeat itself. I don't ever want to see you guys do that again. Thank, Thank you, Mom. Mom. I get up with okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Uncle Bob. How are you guys doing? I'm um, well, fine. We're sorry for the bad thing we said to you the other day that made you angry. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> We're friends already. Right? Yes. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so we'll be inside. Alright. See you guys. I'm doing well, kids. Thank you. <sighs> so, you're no longer upset with them? No, no. No. We are friends now. You know what? As a matter of fact, I should go catch up with them. So, what are we going to do to that Bob of the guy? Oh, Uncle Bob, can you see us? I came to see the smartest of you girls. Duh, that is me, Cynthia. Don't mind her, it's me, Juanita. Uh, it's none of you little chihuahuas. Little flowers. There's only you, Benita. You're the one that listens to other people's conversations and you run off to your mother like a church rat. Go and complain. Right? Uncle Bob, why do you call my sister a church rat? I'm going to tell my mom. No. You're not going to tell your mother anything. You know why? 
And if you do, mommy's gonna get angry. Because if you tell your mother, she's going to make you and you and you apologize to me over and over and over again. Do you understand? I just like you. I like you too. I'll listen up, listen carefully, you little mosquitoes. You better get used to this place. Look very well. Because if you don't, your mother is going to make you like a like fast. And there's nothing that any of you can do about it. Do you understand? I don't know what you want from my mom. You're able to keep us quiet, but my mom is smarter than you think. Pause this. Hey, you. What are you doing? thinking that way. You need to stop seeing them as children. Besides, what you're doing for them is for their own good. But sending them away to a boarding school has always been my greatest fear. You need your life back. You have the right to love and be loved in return. But with these kids around, I mean, you will never move on. They will keep making you hold back your feelings for any man that comes around you. But first, you need to tell yourself, yes, me sending them to a boarding school is the right thing to do. It's a very good idea. You need to say it to yourself. Say it to yourself and believe it. Okay. I'll think about it. But I would need to speak to them about it to see if they would like it. No child would like it, okay? But you just have to tell them, this is what I want, and this is how I want it, this is what I want you to do. It's for your own good. They will understand. Trust me. You need to just stop babysitting them. They, they are grown. I mean, they are big now. I mean, they are made in, in lots of places feed the home. You're in charge here. They are not. Okay? I've come to inform you girls that you'll be starting school soon and um, you'll be staying at a boarding house. So I'm going to go to the supermarket and buy all um, the requirements. So just prepare your mind for it. Are you sending us away from home? Even Jonita? Are you sending her to?
So, <clears throat> I hope you like it. It's okay. Um, I thought we were going to stay in the same room. Right. Um, you're going to be staying here for now. I have my reasons. And what are your reasons? We're in the same house together. The kids are not around. And yet we're in separate rooms. Um, well, you know, Bob, there are, there are some things one should respect, especially memories that have been. I understand. And I'm sorry for asking. You have a good day, okay? strong as my feelings for you no. or maybe you just don't have feelings for me no Bob that's not it it's just that it takes a lot for me to get this far it takes a lot for me to go this far and with the beautiful memories I have of my husband I yeah. understand But you know that if this is going to work, we need to make sacrifices. and convince her. See, only sleeping with Beatrice will make her committed to you. Or maybe allow you to move into her room. The only way to get close to our target is by living in her bedroom. But I can go into her room when I want to. And then you'll be in a hurry. You won't get what you want. Don't worry. I know what to do. And then do it fast. You don't have all the time in the world for to waste. I, I don't understand you guys. It's not like you now. Go before my hand and beg. Like. 
Why are you holding back, my friend? Listen, you need to live your life. Have fun. Make yourself happy. You're not old, girl. I know. It's just... I think it's all in my mind and what I feel for. See, you need to let old things stay in the past. Even the Bible said it. Old things shall pass away and new things shall come. Bob is your new thing right now. How far with Bob? Or do you want to chase Bob away? No, it's not that. It's just that, you know, Maureen, I promised my daughters never to allow any man to take their father's place. And Bob is I... not coming to take Andy's place. He can't. Just allow Bob spice up your life and make you happy. That's all. Come on, grab what's close to you and use it to your own advantage, baby girl. Stop dulling. Stop acting like one old woman like that. See, as fine as you are like this, you're just allowing this beauty to waste. I don't understand it. Is Madame sick? Are you sick? Huh? How's your temperature? My friend wants you to give me today. Ask me for this question. Yes, sir. Hurry up now. Uh. Times like this, you're not supposed to talk too much. Just enjoy your breakfast. Oh, do you want me to feed you? Come on, I'm not sick. Uh, you don't have to be sick for me to feed you. Did you make this? Let me see. I did. It's bread and tea, but yeah, the, the egg. You know? I mean, I fried it and spiced it up nicely with some salt on the side and a little pepper to taste nice. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Hope you like it. I hope so too. Let me taste it. Hmm. It's really good. <clears throat> Seriously, it really is. It's I've never tasted an omelette this spicy. Spicy in a good way or... Spicy in a good way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it had to be good. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's... Glad you like it. I, I like it. Well, thank you. You're
You look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So how are you? Well, uh, fine. Well, hey, um, I'll be stepping out later this evening to see a friend. And I might stay a night or two. Hope you don't mind. Right. Um, <clears throat> no, I don't mind. Only that I'll, I'll miss you. Very much. <laughs> I'll miss you. Very much too. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna go in there and freshen up. Um, let you miss me while I miss you while freshening up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be in the living room missing you. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> but just you know. Um. um okay. Yeah, just make sure you miss me a little bit more than normal. Okay. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> Madam, I did arrange for the jam and correct a good sister. Okay, we'll make it snappy because Bob wants to go out. Mm -hmm. Okay, ma. Hey, excuse me, ma. <laughs> Madam, you get one inform me to what I make a young you. Are you up saying you no know vest for me? What is it? Yeah. Hey, hey. Madam, as I they clean your room, your bathroom, eh, I can't see say a bros Bob, you won't enter your room. What they search for something? I don't know what they search for. You carry file, you open up, you read this one, you close them. You they search everywhere. Uh, Madam, last last, I could see say you open drawer, you can collect that money where you keep there for house shopping. Are you sure of what you're saying? <sighs> Madam, I sure pass anything for this one. I did on point for this one. In fact, I feel you might leave her bet this one. I sure where where. Today, today, my level don't change. My level don't change. My level don't change. So tell me, how come the money is still here? Ma, truth to God. I know you know how the money take come back there. Because I feel to swim with my liver, say, I see I when you move the money. Let this be the last time you try something like this. Please be warned. Get out of my room. Well, how come now? I think you'll see I see and carry that money. Hey, now when you come go return now. Why don't you drop that? That's just a mystery. So you think you would open your cockroach mouth? And my plans would just go to waste like that? Boss, you see the child talk. Shut up! You saw me take that money. And you rushed to your madam to tell her, right? But one thing you did not put into consideration is what you were dealing with. Look at me.
shocked. Oh, so you thought the money just reappeared just like that? Now listen and listen really good. I am not someone to toy with. One advice. Keep yourself and your nose away from anything that concerns me. Else, I will get you out of this house just the way I got the keys out. Bros, I dare you mash line. No? You want mash line for that one? No? You know your day on point. Because my mother no agree with you at all for that matter where you talk so. She sent her children to boarding house because of me. And you think she would think twice about sending a church rat like you away from the house? Use your kidney. I expected by now we would be swimming in money. But as usual, you are too slow. Too slow. Well, I'd rather be slow than slowly go to jail. That's the problem with you. You always think worse of every situation. You know what? I'm just a realist. And if I'm not careful, we'll lose everything. Then yeah, Kuma, calm down. i marry her. <laughs> by so doing, you own everything. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Those kids. That house help of us. They will just ruin everything. That is why I said get the property papers. Well, I still haven't seen it. So I don't think the papers are in that house. But find it. Find wherever it is. I don't have this patience anymore. I'm losing it. Kai me the go as a big. I go start still. Just say you behave yourself by now for not get money. And you always be good mechanic. Sons of good is slow. Naomi be the housekeeper. Mm. Okay. I am Mrs. Benson, the mother of the owner of the service. <laughs> Male! Male, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Male, sit down, huh? Welcome. Uh. Oh, where, where does I keep her back? Uh, you put her for the first guest room. No worry, our coffee is the place now. Hey, Male, welcome. Thank you. Um, where is uh, Beatrice and the children? Mala don't go work and the children they don't go school. I see. I can see that Beatrice is really, really taking good care of this. Okay, my dear, please uh, fix your room. I want to take my bath. Oh, Mala, you know get she kiss. Welcome, Mala. Thank you. Mama, well, well, welcome. Uh, 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 Mama, I, I hope Moto does not disturb you on the road. Uh, no, no. Oh, you're yeah, welcome. Thank you. I should be the one asking you that question. Who are you? And what are you doing in my son's house? So, well, Beatrice owns this place. And very soon it's going to be mine. Over my dead body will that happen? Mm, well, it seems like you're going to be dying very soon. Because I'm going to get married to her and Andrew. I'm going to own this place. Marry what? Yes.
welcome, my sister Emma. Or should I call you the Beatrix? <laughs> oh. you, you didn't even tell me we were coming. It's good to see you. Yeah. It is good I did not tell you I'm coming. If not, I would not have met the sacrilege happening in this house. I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the man you're keeping in my son's house. Oh. Bob. Mm-mm. Um, <clears throat> Mama, you see, um... You see, Bob is, um... Don't even say. He told me everything. How you want to marry him and all that. No, you see, the thing is, it's like... I, I, I know what it is. That you're tired of staying single. After three years, just three years, my son died. And you want to replace him. But the question is, what is the urgency for? Is this how you love him? Is this how you've become that you now keep a man in the house to be servicing you while waiting to make it permanent? Okay, now that is very insulting. This is becoming very insulting. I loved my husband very much, so why are you speaking as if I was waiting for him to die and then move on with my life? Is that not what is happening here? You were actually waiting for him to die. That is why after three years, just three years, you're behaving and feeling as if you're a single girl that your time is passing. Well, yes, Mama. That is your opinion and you're entitled to it. But I'm a woman. And if I want to remarry, then yes, I have very limited time on my hands. And whether or not you like it, I'll make judicious use of it. Little like this, even I see my mother want to do my job this night. Too. you been? What happened to your phone? My phone, um, network. 
terrible network. Now, what are you doing out here? Your mother, you know, right? She's a handful. I witnessed it. Where's your car? Oh yeah, my car. Um, it broke down on the, the road, you know, the high the highway. You know, so I packed it in the mechanic workshop. But tomorrow I'll pick it up. <clears throat> What's the matter? Listen, Bob. I don't. I don't know how this might sound, but you have to go back to your house for the time being. You see, my mother-in-law is here, and while she's here, you can't be here. I'm just trying to avoid all that drama. But she won't be here for long, so once she leaves, I'll let you know. I just, I just hope you understand. Totally. Thank you. I understand, honey. But we can always meet out here. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I won't go crash you. I don't tire. No, my dear. Okay. You can go. Thank you. Good night, ma. Good night, ma. Just a minute. My dear. Yes, ma. I've not seen my grandchildren since I came. And I know their mother is not in a good mood to answer me now, so you can tell me. Male, I have to say you know. Oh. Hey, madam, don't carry the children. Go for body hands. They did body in school. Body in house? Yes, ma. But my son never wanted them to go to body house. How come Beatrice allowed that to happen? Male, if you ask me, make a reason this matter well, <laughs> I will tell you, say, you get one guy away, then they call uh, Bob Mali and be Bob Whiskey. Male. That guy I know you're pure. You are not pure. Me sure say now because of the guy, now madam carry those children go put for body ass. So that anytime we come here, in go all get time with madam, do your day together. Me sure say now waiting for some. Mm, I see. And Beatrice allowed that to happen in this house. Okay. I am here now. Let me see how those children will remain in the bottom house. Their grandmother will not allow any form of injustice to be done to them. Hmm? Male, Male, you don't point for this one, no. Ah, me they happy for this way you talk. Ah, I don't miss them now. I don't miss those children. May you come, may this house they bubble. Male, I happy for this one way you talk. Good night, ma. Not good for us at all. At all. I wonder why we have to face, face one challenge after the other. Where the hell did, did Miss, Mrs. Bessing come out from in the first place? <laughs> you see the kind of confidence that woman has. <laughs> that confidence is not here. And to think that she respects her so much, even as her son is dead. That was a big trouble for us. Mm. So what do we do now? We have to devise a plan to get that woman out of the house at least until we achieve our aim. Mm. The only plan that we can devise is to get Beatrice to send her away. That would be tricky. You yourself said she respects her a lot, so what makes you think she would listen to me this time? She'll be listening to you all this while. So I believe she would still listen to you again. 
okay. With the level of work I'm doing in this business, my share will increase. My will be packs now. To no longer be 60 40. To now be 30 70. I'll take the lion's share. That money is more. Eh. No, well, no. Let us get our, our hand on the money first, then we can now talk about all that nonsense. Alright then, I'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm. no carry me go before you carry the cigar to me from inside here. <laughs> discuss with you. I hope there's no problem. No, no, not at all. Since my arrival into this house, we started off on a wrong foot. But as a mother, I want to ask you a simple question. Okay. I'm listening. Why are you so eager to replace my son in your heart? Why do you want to remarry? Mama, you may not like my answer, but I will give it anyway. I want to remarry. Because I want to live. Since Andy died, I've lived for my children, for my family, and my extended family. Right now, I wish to just live for myself. The girls are grown to some extent now. So I need to start living for me, to experience the good things in life and the essence of companionship. Are you saying with Andy you never lived? No. No, Mama, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that while with Andy, Mama, we're focused on having kids. And, and when we were done and it was time for us to raise them, death took him away from me. Mama, it's been three years. Three years, Mama. I've mourned him. I've tried. I think it's time to move on. So she wants you to remain single just because she wants to preserve her son's memory. What's that one now? Well, I see reasons with her. Seriously. I mean, any woman would do the same if they were in her shoes. She just selfish job. And you should chase her away from that house before she will chase away all your husbands to be. No way. No way I'm sending her out of that house. She will leave the house when she decides to leave the house. And whether or not we like it, that is her son's house, and that is my mother-in-law. I respect her way too much to send her out of the house. Then she will continue to meddle in, in your personal life. I'm just saying, chase her away. No way. I won't chase her away. 
she would leave when she decides to leave the house okay so good trying to convince me to chase her away i won't chase her away no that is her beatrice. son's house beatrice this is trouble you're playing with though fire you're playing with <laughs> your life well three million is all i need and um in three months time i'll pay back its interest Three million is a lot of money. So I'll try and see if I can make that available. But what do you need that money for? Well, I just uh, want to invest in something big. I see. What about your job? My job? Uh, it remains constant. You know, but, uh, an extra box on the side and tell them what we do. That's true. Um, let me see if I can work something out for you, okay? You should hear from me in a day or two. I love you. You are... Yeah, I'm dancing. So, have you eaten? No, actually, I haven't. You should run out and get something nice for you. That would be nice. Ice cream? Mmm, maybe pizza. Okay. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, here are the documents you asked for. Good. And then the account officer is working on the money transfer. He says it will be, it will be ready in a day or two. Okay, that's good, thank you. Then, if I may ask, Ma, I think you should find out what he wants to invest the money in. Why? Shouldn't I trust him? Far from it, Ma. I just think it's normal you know what he's investing the money in, and if he'll get his money back, with some profit, of course, or if it's just a scam. Scam? You think he might want to scam me? Oh, not at all, ma. I, I mean him getting scammed. These days, many people get scammed by all the scammers. It happens on the regular. That's true. I think I should call him to find out all the details. This line is not connected. I'll just call back. Okay. But as I said, the money will clear in a day or two. So I think you should go to his office and talk to him. I'm sure he'll like it. It also shows that you care. That's true. You know, I'll just use this opportunity to go and visit him at his office and um, speak to him. Yeah. Wow, Greg, thank you. Thanks for the You're advice. Uh, I'll take my leave. Sure. With the urgency. Are you okay? I am I'm fine. It's just I want to clear something with you. Okay. What is it? It's about Bob. Where exactly did you say he works again? OZ construction. Why? 
because I visited Ozzy Construction since his phone has been off and there was no one by that name working there. Okay, I know him to work there. But <laughs> it has... <laughs> if there is doubt, I think only him can answer these questions. Marie, yes. you're my friend and I want to believe that you will not intentionally lead me into trouble. Like you said, we are friends. And I will not knowingly put you into trouble. See, Bob is my friend and I like him. And I know you like him too. So if there is any doubt, just clear it out with him. Call him, talk to him, meet up. He will clear your doubts. Trust me. Well, I sincerely hope so because I've fallen in love with him. Oh. Yes, and I don't want to regret my actions. And you won't. You won't. Is that why you're sad? Can your face like this? There's food in front of you, you're not even eating it. <laughs> my dear, let there be no waste. Says the Lord. This day, you does, you does not even send me again. You does not even take care of me. You just the phone busy. Busy. Now phone was even busy. Man no good. You. Man, Frayo, you do on point for this one. Eh? You don't blame me. Since when Mama yours come? Ha. You all full grant, you all arrange yourself. Now, so so work at the work. Clean sink, cooking, all those things. Now they do. You don't blame me. Okay? But you see, see, eh, eh, this to mama, mama, mama coming. I, I, I like him. Oh. I'm telling you, thank God that she, 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 she come. Because at least, that Bob Michael or Bob, 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 Bob this thing. With that, that in 3000 was it Afro way here, no day. You don't keep away for some time now. For now, we'll never see him. Man, for you, you did on point for this one again. You did on point because that uh, Bob, Bob Risky, I've been a Bob, oh, no. Bob anything where he's oh, saying, okay, name. Man, he risky. I don't know that one. That guy, not be better person at all. Though. The guy not good, you ain't not pure. You, you see, you, do, you does not even need to tell me. I does not even need to enter inside to know. Uh, you see, that, 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 I does not even like him. Huh. He's very, very annoying and very, very pom, pom, pompous. Pom, pom, pompous. Yes, pom, pompous. 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 Man, for you, I now know this English way you just speak so. <laughs> but waiting me, I not be say that guy. The guy we not pure. The guy all they do like snake. All they do conny conny. That guy, you not correct. Not be better person. I not I not like him. Yeah, but what I not understand, women like this, mm. they could just want to settle anywhere. They does not know whether inside the fire they are in settling or if it's inside the flying plan. <laughs> Very, really, very really sad. See, man, for you. Me and you, the we say, eh? go with your borrow, madam. Eh? Me go your borrow and sense. Me go your knack and one kind better, eh, spectra, spectra, spectra. Go, 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 go. Me go your knack and sense. Me, you know, say this, eh, uh, eh, uh, Bob, Bob Risky guy. Eh, uh, say the guy not pure. Say the guy just come, make your come steal, come kill, and me come destroy her. Women like this, I, I, I do not understand. They, they, they just want to settle anywhere. They do not know that is inside the fire or inside the fire pan. They just, just want to settle. They just want, want to enter. Hmm? If you if you reason away, if you ask me, Madam, get three beautiful children. Huh? Ah, you know they see them. They are fine, all full grand, all they bounce. Bouncing baby girls. Now their head, now their head, they, they, hey. they love my blend. So they all arrange, all full grind, all they bounce like, hey. like ball. Eh? Three bouncing baby girls. Now my dad see the fine man. If you all ask me, I just make your boom man, make sure they flesh alive, they go. Yeah. Make sure mm. they enjoy. Mm. No, 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 talk, no, talk that one. Don't talk that one. See, ma marriage, marriage is not only only about uh, about uh, 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 marrying and, and burning children. Mm. Yeah. You don't, you, don't, you don't know that there is. You don't even talk about kiss, kissing and the and the smoothie. Yeah, 
They, they, they call it a, a, a companionship. Confirm. And that that is what I, I think that she's lacking now. And she better mm -hmm, find that man and settle down, find that man. Instead of using this thing, come the share lamp oh, oh, from here to here. No, see that thing go there very, very late. Mom, Brian, the English companion, she always cut my head, all the boss, my dad. I didn't hey. need to know now. Mom, Brian, Mom, Brian. I agree mm. with you for that one. You see, no problem, Sha. Me, my dad, yours take care of herself. Me, she, me, she flex. If you ask me, madam, still young, we not sure she frying. You're fresh and you like to the bread. Not the see, madam. Hey, hey me, madam, yours package yourself, where. Me, she all the flex. Me, she flex. Me, she forget man. You hey. see, madam, madam, may, may, may you calm down and look very well. What I don't even know that if they remove this thing where you see where we are now, give me a bada. Ah, no, to God, I go, I go find pass, pass, Bobby Sun Kocha. Yeah, if you be saying I mean, more than they find Jeff, you know, go know because of this thing where I will. Sure, uh, uh, stand down. You, hey, man, for you, I know I agree with you for this one. No. See all the other two way you talk, you do on point, but this one way you talk so. You know, you know they on point at all. I know agree Come with you. Come on, here. Why uh, everything point, 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 eh? point? You be point, thank you. You know, see, Madame Aside like Mr. Big's bread. You know, you're the on point for this one. Ah, ah, see, fresh, Madame, fresh Mr. Big's bread for a gege bread. No, you're trying. It's with that. Good hey, morning. What's up? Your ass will be the one up if you don't come up and give the excuse. Excuse for what? She just went to OZ Construction Company today to look for you. And she was told no one like you works there. But what did she have to do there? You told me she's not that kind of person. So oh, if you have left your phone on all day, she wouldn't have any reason to go there. Oh, well, I have family too. Anyways, um, you know I have family too, right? And I had to give my family time and attention. Besides, my wife was beginning to suspect my uh, my constant travels, and I had to do something to get off my back. Oh well, your few days of happiness is about to ruin everything for us. Not really. Oh yeah, I know what to do to get her off my neck. Can't forget she ever went there. Besides, she's into me, and she's dumb. Mm. For both our sakes. I sincerely do hope so. Calm down. I'm still Bob. <laughs> and she's already in love with you. She has no choice. <laughs> do you want to order for anything? I oh, know, I had a few on my way here. Is fine. Well, if everything is fine, why aren't you sleeping? It's late. Mommy, man got up on You know, when a mother misses her son, sleep becomes a luxury. But when she misses her grandchildren, sleep becomes a stranger. I know, Mama. I miss the girls too. I miss them so much. You do? Yes. If you do. Why did you decide to send them to a boarding house when you and their father decided they would not go to any boarding school? Or is someone influencing your decisions towards them? Well, I admit that a few people told me to do so, but my mother, decision was entirely mine. Yes, we agreed not to send the girls to a boarding school, but that was three years ago. Then there were 
young and not strong enough to be away from home. And then their father was around to assist me. But Mama, he isn't around any longer and everything rests on my shoulder. I can't keep an eye on them always and that's why I had to make this decision, Mama. Believe me, it was very tough. But keeping them here and not having time for them is not what I want for them. Mama, they need all the attention they can get. And I believe that by being in the midst of other children, they will not feel lonely that much. Hmm. You have a point there, but I would love to see them before leaving. I know, and which is why I've made arrangements for them to be over this weekend. Yes, they'll be here in two days. Are you serious? Thank you. This means a lot to me. Thank you so much. It's fine, Mama. I'm just really happy I can put a smile on your face. I'm so sorry I caused you any trouble. I'm sorry if I misunderstood your intentions. I totally forgot. You're still young and you have your life to live in your own terms. I loved my son way too much that I wanted you to preserve his memory in your heart. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll never stop loving Andy. He was and still is my first love. I'll cherish his memory forever. With the children around Mama, how can I ever forget him? He was... He's my everything. I know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to understand it. Where the hell have you been? And why has your phone been off? Well, I... I had to clear my head and I didn't want to bother you. <laughs> clear your head? What are you clearing your head from? And what is bugging you? I mean, I've been meaning to tell you, but... I just needed to be sure you wouldn't get worried. What is it? I'm no longer working with OZ. I resigned. Really? Why? Since when? About a month now. They don't give me what I deserve. They don't even give me credit for my work. So I had to resign. I'm trying to open my own company. That's why I asked you for the loan, three million naira. You know, I already have a contract on the pipeline and I just need an office space. They're not willing to release funds to me or even approve the contract until I have an office. This is serious. Are you sure that three million will be enough? No. But I had to ask for what I know I can pay back. So how much will be enough? It's too much. Tell me how much will be enough. Five million. It's manageable. Okay, I would uh, make arrangements for you to get five million in like a day or two. Okay. Are you sure I'm not stressing you? You're not stressing me. I just don't like to see you worried.
feel this way, Bob? Why do I feel like you're not being entirely truthful with me? I hope I'm mistaken, else this will not be funny. So, how have you been, Mom? I've been good. I'm, I'm doing very well. But I should be the one asking you how you've been. Are you feeling well? Are you happy being there? Are they treating you right? Well, fine, Mom, but it would be better if we're with you around. I know, but... Sweetie, right now, this is the best thing for you. For us or for you? <laughs> Come on. Do you think I like keeping you away from me? I don't. But workload is so much. And there's so much going on in my life that I don't want you girls exposed to. Like Bob, right? Uncle Bob, you mean? Let's not talk about it. We're here to spend the weekend and we can as well have fun and then go back to school. Exactly. That's what I want to hear. Let's just not talk about this and let's just have a good time. Come and hug mommy. Oh, my favorite girls in the whole world. Oh. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> oh my, you girls have a way of reminding me of my childhood. Oh! Oh my darling. <laughs> you always find a way to make us happy. Oh. We love you, Grandma. And I love you girls too. We miss you a lot, especially since we got back. I understand. It's about your mother. Not to worry. She's a smart person. She will find a way. I hope that happens soon. I have faith in her. We do, but... No buts, my darling. We're not here to discuss your mother. I'm here to tell you girls your favorite bedtime stories. Yay! Okay. Once upon a time in a faraway land. Come in, the door is no locked. Good evening. Greg. Is there a problem? No, just a little problem, but if not handled well, you blow up in your face. What is it? I, I ran into an old schoolmate of mine yesterday. It happened that he works with OZ. He has been working with OZ for over eight years now. I tried finding out if he knows Bob, but he said no one by that name works at OZ. I showed him both pictures and he doesn't know him. Are you trying to tell me that I'm being deceived? Yes, ma'am. So because your friend told you this, I'm supposed to believe it? Not exactly, but I just thought you should know about it. Greg, what you're saying holds no water. No, you know what, it's... just go. Just, just leave. This is why you came here?